Hello again Freethinkers, uh, Shano here with another visualisation. Before I get started I just wanted to say an enormous thank you to the um, 700 or so people that have looked at this forum thread and to the 100 or so people that are coming in via YouTube as well. Thank you very much. I've, I've never spoken to 800 people about something so geeky before, but, but thanks for dropping by again. Um, today we're going to look at the map of the world and um, you're actually looking at a map of the world through the eyes of the thinkingatheist.com forum and I'll admit some of you might might be having a little bit of a hard time working out what's going on here so let's um let's go back a couple of steps um, here is a map of the world and if we gradually make that a little bit more transparent and overlay our um our, our map uh, and our visualization you can start to see it hopefully making a little bit more sense so you can see that this area on the left hand side is a concentration of our American free thinkers down here are our small concentration of South Americans our Africans our Australasians and our Europeans um, we're we're not big in Russia and China it's it's safe to say um, big in Greenland though we've um, uh, sorry Iceland we've got three members in Iceland so hello to you guys um, it's it's interesting because uh, I suppose it's a fairly obvious conclusion to arrive at but as a forum there's no obvious um, there's no obvious link between um, where you live and who you talk to. There is in in our American um, kind of contingent this green area here. Um, you can see there is a lot of green, which means that these people are all talking to one another. But but these green shoots all sort of spread over the Atlantic, and um, in Europe, obviously, we're interacting with the Americans just as much. The Australasians, um, Africans, and um, the people here in the Far East are all talking to each other as well more than they talk to the American and Canadian members of the forum, which is which is quite interesting, I think. But it's clear from this that our network is truly global. Everybody is talking to everybody else regard regardless of where they live. I think that's um, especially exciting when you consider that the people um, on the on the kind of right hand side of the vis visualization there's a high chance that English isn't their first language and yet they're still coming onto a forum that's exclusively in in the English language and speaking a lot with one another. Um, in fact, we could we could actually rethink this so that on in line with who's actually talking to who, we could um, we could apply something like this to it. And just as that's doing its thing, now you can see we're grouping people by who they talk to. And actually, this is a far more accurate map of. Um, how we interact, where our where our communities are globally, instead of looking at a map. So you can see there's our blue community here, which includes House of Cantor and Lucridus, who are American members. Um, it's also got Moran Dog on it, who's our most southerly member, um, who's over in Australasia. Uh, it's also got me, who's in the north of Scotland. So we form a community regardless of location. We talk to each other. Um, significantly more for example than these people on the left hand side of the visualization talk to one another despite the fact that we're we're a truly global community so um let's just compare these two these two visualizations then so that's that's planetthinkingatheist.com and that's planet earth so exactly the same information mapped slightly differently this is how our world looks how our neighborhoods and countries look and um, this is how we look in real life and as you can see the two things are completely different um, how we interact with people on the forum is completely different to our completely irrelevant in fact to our global our global location so um, there you go two different visualizations on where you live um, this data is made possible by the use of the um, the thinking atheists Google map which um, you can find I think in the introductions forum so I'd encourage you to um, uh, update your location there um, especially if you're in uh, India Russia or China uh, because I'd like to see some more dots in that part of the world I'm sure there are some free thinkers over there um, 
and uh, yeah, update your location. So far, only about 200 people have actually gone in there and, and updated their location on the map. And uh, so this isn't 100% accurate because we've got around about 1,800, 1,900 members and uh, only 200 of them have put their information on. Also, it would be of great help to me, and feel free to ignore this, but if you're going to put your location on the user map, please put your Thinking Atheist username on the user map. Um, there are plenty of very interesting and insightful comments around people's locations such as this is where Murder She Wrote was was filmed or um, many Hollywood films have been filmed here or the orange groves of Florida are a lovely place to live. I'm sure they are and, and it's lovely to hear from you but it would be really superb if within that, that update you could also include um, your forum username otherwise I won't know who you are and would be unable to plot, plot on them on the map where you are. But um, yeah, so there's about 180, about 10% of our total user community is shown on this map. Um, we do have one member um, from India, but unfortunately using a different name to what his Thinking Atheist username is. So uh, I'm unable to plot him uh, to find out who he speaks to. But um, yeah, hopefully you found that useful. So just one last time, that's our um, that's where we are globally as a global community, and um, that's what we look like in terms of who we actually speak to. Um, and as you can see, it's no respecter for geographic location. So uh, yeah, hope you found that useful, and speak to you all soon. Cheers.